Uh, there's a, a really strong link between poverty and disability. And in a lot of our inner cities, uh, there isn't really access to non-processed food. Uh, so growing food locally and having it available for folks locally is key to our mission here at Peckham and, and key to our culture here at Peckham. My name is Mitch Tomlinson. I'm the president and CEO at Peckham Inc. Peckham is a private nonprofit community rehabilitation center. Uh, our main thing, our main mission is to provide rehabilitation services to people with disabilities in the Tri County area. Uh, we do that by creating jobs for folks with disabilities. We currently run five affirmative businesses. Some uh, Affirmative businesses work better with some folks with different, different disabilities. So the idea of having all these different affirmative businesses at Peckham is really so that we have a wide range of jobs to meet all different levels of needs that we serve every day. Farming is one of Michigan's largest industries, uh, so it's logical that we're creating jobs in one of our largest industries. You know, at Peckham, we're always thinking about how do we move people from Peckham into to the community, to the competitive community environment. Um, so, having industries that are represented in our state is important to us. Peckham Farms consist of a barn, a heated greenhouse, two hoop houses that are complete, and one hoop house that's under construction. And so, what we try to do here is grow stuff from seed to transplants, put them out in the field, or to hoop houses, and grow healthy, uh, sustainable food. And the idea is that we could uh, show our clients how to grow the stuff from seed uh, to harvest and then use that um, in an environment where they actually uh, cook it for themselves or we supply it to the kitchen where they use it there for our clients or we turn it into things like uh, salsa or pepper jams. One of our main thoughts was, you know, we're buying all this produce from you know, regular wholesalers to use in our kitchen to provide and make meals and we're trying to make nutritious meals for our folks, um, why couldn't we just buy it from ourselves? Why couldn't we grow this produce at the farm and we're creating that whole opportunity there, um, bring it here and we can that, then teach people how to, you know, process and do, you know, some more job creation in that. Uh, this year we have a hundred CSAs or shares of our farm uh, that are available. In fact, today's Thursday, we're picking up our farm crops today. And for me, it's, it's fun uh, to get that basket of stuff and not to know what's going to be in there and to go home and create a meal around what we harvested today. And I think for a lot of folks, uh, that's the same thing. They put me out in the um, hot houses at first. Um, I did some weeding and I learned about the water system and uh, what to watch out for, the pesticides, the disease of plants. And it, it, it's been a great learning process. I learn something new and different every day. Even though I've got some problems, I can still get some stuff done and just might take a little bit longer than normal, but I get stuff done and I'm helping keep the food supply going. I can see the developmental uh, growth in a lot of them and uh, for me it's uh, that's the reward uh, to see that these clients enjoy coming out here to work and uh, uh, have a willingness to learn and enjoy learning and that that is uh, uh, very beneficial to me from a personal standpoint. By growing food we're growing hope. Uh, people uh, will have an opportunity to experience uh, work in a different way, in a different environment, uh, and hopefully that will lead to their own uh, skill development and to jobs wherever they choose in the community.